Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I discuss everything about agribusiness, everything agriculture, going to the business, the culture, and the farm tips. I discuss everything. This is your go-to agro girl any day, anytime. So today I want to talk to you about food processing. So this is for my Elizabeth, your favorite farmer. So food processing involves several steps. It involves you going through a lot of um, things you need to put in place before you even start up your own food processing. If you are looking at processing fufu, um, yam flour, if you are looking at going into spices, whatever kind of food processing that you are looking at going into, it involves several steps and we are just going to go straight to the steps and get you on your feet on how you can start producing or processing your own food. So the first step, the first thing you are going to um, put in place is your research. Yes, you want to make enough research, research that covers every aspect of what you want to start producing. So you want to start producing spices, you need to make research on the market, the available market, the trend, the, um, um, where you're going to source for your raw produce, everything about that particular product. You need to make know um, how much it is in high demand, your market, and how, how much of um, raw materials that you have access to. You need to identify your your competitors. You need to know what your competitors are doing. You need to know their strengths, their weak points, and how you can leverage on that knowledge and also build strength for yourself. So these are the things that you need to know. The second thing that we need to consider is our business plan. Now we have done our research. We already know the things that we need. We want to make a business plan, a business plan that we outline your market, um, the available markets that we outline your funding, that will outline your product, the specific areas that you need to focus on. This will be made um, clear in your business plan. So we want to make a business plan, a business plan that will give us a direction of what we are going to be getting involved in. A business plan is going to give us our financial projection and we also help us to know our marketing strategy, our moves, what works and what wouldn't work so we don't just go um, without a clear understanding of what we are getting involved in. So the business plan, everything, your um, um, financial projections, everything are supposed to be outlined in the business plan. The third thing that we are going to be looking at is our registrations, the registrations that are necessary, CAC registration, NAVDAC registrations, although these things are things that can come later. So if you are just looking at starting on a small scale, you might not want to do this for now. Uh, um, maybe when you start growing and you start expanding, you can look at doing these registrations, but they are very necessary as much as the production is necessary. You register your business name so that um, in the future you'll be able to claim this business and somebody else will not use the name that you love so much that you um, admire for your business. Somebody else will not pick that name for registrations, but it is not the must you do it um, at the beginning. So another thing we want to also look at is our production facilities. Um, meaning the space, your space for production. So you don't want to just produce anywhere. You need to make up maybe a store or anywhere that you think that, okay, it's ideal for production. That's what we want to do at this point. We want to fix, um, get our production sites ready. You don't need to do something very big, just something that can work for you, for your size of production. So let's talk about packaging materials. Now there are different type of packaging materials. There are packaging materials for flour, for um, where you are doing all this cassava flour, yam flour, um, the moisture content of your product, packaging material that depends if your product is a liquid or a spice. You want to package your, you want to use packaging materials that are durable, something that would not um, spill, something that your product can last longer in. So we have got different packaging materials. You can get a whole lot of um, materials, the ones that are affordable, that can work for your kind of product. So I'm going to be showing you each of these materials and what they are used for. So we have the PP bag, they are commonly used for packaging of flowers. It comes in different shapes, different sizes, 1 kg, um, 500 gram. So we have the paper bags. They can also be used for packaging flowers, 
and anything that you want to protect from straw most times they are used for smaller quantities of flour then we also have laminated pouches we have the pe pouches then we have the cut um the boxes we have um carton these ones are used for secondary packaging we have two bottles for spices you can make use of smaller laminated pouches too and you can also use this the spice jar there are paper packets that you can also use they are different market that I'm, I'm not familiar with lagos market but i'm familiar with Ibado. you can get it at aloshine different markets just you can even get them online from vendors on tiktok on um um gg that sells all these um pouches and packaging materials for oil the, the, the materials you can there are containers you can also use for packaging your oil so we have bottles in their different sizes you can also use things and for packaging so let's move to processing machines now there are types different different types of machines we have for small scale production large scale production medium scale whatever your size of production there are different machines that can be used but i would advise that you start with your mini equipment like your blender your oven all these kitchen items can actually work for you so you don't have to look for 500k that you used to buy sophisticated machines or complex one like if you want to go into spice production you can use your blender to blend you just um, don't don't over blend so so that you can have that spice texture if you want to produce maybe um a will do powder you can use your blender at home just make sure that you regulate it in such a way that you don't blend to powdery form so you just blend to the size um of what a will do should look like if you want to produce beans flour there are blenders at home that you can make use of so all of this can actually work for you as a starter so you don't need to buy big big machines so let's look at um, some machines that can actually work electric machines it is for grinding raw materials like your grain go on online and source for these machines they are right available online very affordable please make sure that you don't you don't spend all of your money on buying machines start with something that you have available so we have um, machines that can help you see you can make use of the sieves that you have at home to sieve out particles from your um, bean flour or yam flour so you can make use of the normal sieve at home dryer or dry hydrator they are used for drying up your your products maybe you want to um, dry your vegetables or your fruit you want to make fruit, fruit flakes you can use your dry hydrator or your um, dryer even your oven can work so say you want to produce dried fish you can make use of your dehydrators and the, also your ovens can work for this so we have packaging machines these ones will help you package your product into the container so you want to these ones are actually not necessary for someone who is just starting up maybe you're on low budget you don't really need this for this particular machine it's used for um packaging your processed flour into your bags into your pouches or your container you can make use of um simple um scooping spoons to scoop your product into your con your packaging containers then we also have the weighing scale we have machines that will help you to weigh to help you to so that you can know exactly what you are producing accurate scale to measure raw materials in package blah. we have digital or manual weighing scales they are available in different capacity so we have the heat sealer this one will help you seal up your pouches your containers your products they are used for sealing um, after filling they are the um, manual ones the handheld heat sealer and they are also bigger versions of the heat sealer then we have the electric oven this one will help you bake and also dry your flour or your product you can make it look the local one it's sometimes even more effective so we also have this digital weighing scale so we have balance scales portion control scales um, designed for portioning your small smaller quantities this one will give you accurate size of whatever you are making use of you have different products that you can actually process we have wheat flour yam flour plantain flour maize flour cassava flour fufu fufu, uh, flour um potatoes we have dried okra dry ewedu ugu common um vegetables cucumbers carrots you can dry all of these vegetables even pepper you can produce spices pepper soup spice juice spice jello fry spice even multiple for spice you can produce all of these spices so there you have it simple way you can actually start producing and packaging your own um agro products so if this video was helpful to you please 
um, subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so that each time that we upload new videos you'll be the first person to get notified all right thanks for watching bye bye